what's up? So today I'm bringing to you my March favorites. I don't do favorites that often or ever. Um, once in a while, whenever I feel like I need to talk about something. So I have a few of my favorite things that I haven't, you know, shown you guys or talked about. So let's just get straight to it. So the first things I've been loving are makeup products, obviously. So a few makeup products. I have been loving the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Volume Express, the one in the gold packaging. This is freaking amazing. This is my favorite mascara by far. Um, yeah, ever since I received it from a Fiddly Influencer to try it out, I this is probably my second one I've bought already and I'm obsessed. Um, so, it lengthens your lashes, it volumizes your lashes, and it's just friggin' amazing all around. And yeah. If you haven't, tr if you're looking for a new mascara to try out, I definitely recommend this one to try out and let me know what you think. I hope you guys like it, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the packaging, I mean, come on, gold, hello. Sold me right there. The next product I have been loving is the Tarte Blush in Parte. Uh, this, I believe, came in the Sephora birthday package thing if you want the Tarte or the other one. I don't remember what the other one is, but. I picked the Tarte one and I'm so glad I did and this blush came in that package along with a lip gloss I think, yeah lip gloss lipstick. But I've been using this pretty much all month of March and part of February so and still today I'm wearing it today right now, mm -hmm. if you can see it from this like blinding light of my window but yeah. Uh, it's called Party. I don't know if they sell these individually or if you can only get it when it's like your birthday month that they're giving it out for free. Free makeup, guys. Hello. Next product is also another Tarte product. I freaking love Tarte um, products in general. Um, it is the Tarte Tarte Tartist Pro Glow to Go palette. It is a little compact palette, which is perfect if you're traveling or you know want to put something in your purse to touch up later. Uh, but yeah, it has a highlighter. I don't know what the second one is on there. Maybe a highlighter or probably a highlighter. I don't know. I haven't touched that one. And a bronzer. The first time. I use this, I only use the highlight and I fell in love like immediately. It's so pretty and I'm not wearing any highlight today because I don't know, I just didn't want to, which is odd. But yeah, highlight, gorgeous. It's like so pigmented, I don't know if you can see that, but it's so pigmented and yeah, it just blinds you seriously. The second one, I don't know what it is, but it can use it as an inter inner tear duct um, color, which I probably will use now. It's a perfect inner, inner tear duct color. Yeah, I'll probably use that for that now that I'm looking at it. Okay, my new inner tear duct uh, color. And the last one is the bronzer. I've been using the bronzer crazy now um, and one day for some reason I like put it too close to my face and I sniffed it and it smells freaking awesome. It smells like chocolate. It smells so good. Can't get enough of it and it also comes with a mirror so that's uh, always a good thing. I use this actually whenever I'm like on the go and I need to like look to see if anything's smudging on my face, you know, you need to get a little quick checkup to see if everything's in place. So, yeah, love this palette. And the last makeup product I have been loving is the ColourPop lipstick, lip gloss thingy, whatever these are called, in the color Bumble. I have been loving this lipstick. I am actually wearing it right now. At first, I didn't like it whenever I got it. I got it a while back. Yeah, it's been a while since I had this, uh, but. Yeah, at first time I got it, it was like too orangey for me, but now that I, I don't know, I got into orangey toned lipsticks, and I'm loving it. It's, I'm actually wearing it right now, and it's freaking amazing. So yeah, looks like this, and it dries, like you put it on, it's like a glossy look, but then it dries matte. If you don't like that, you won't probably like this lipstick, but it lasts pretty much all day, and it doesn't like transfer on anything, like whenever I drink and stuff, so it's always good. So yeah, been loving this lipstick lip gloss from ColourPop in Bumble. These things are pretty much um, skincare related. Uh, I have been loving this. They're both from Derma E and Derma E did send these products to me um, to try out. So thank you Derma E. But yeah, so I've been try I've been loving these two products. It, it is the Derma E Skin Hair and Nail Oil. I didn't really... Okay, when I first got this I was like, ew, oil, I don't want to put that on my face or like hands and stuff but then I started getting like dry hands and stuff like around my cuticle areas and I've always had that problem so I decided you know just give this a try and it really does help out a lot it's helped out my nails a lot and I don't have the best nails in the world these are some press on nails from the Dollar Tree but I don't have the best nails in the world I do have a nail biting problem so I have that and um, this just helped out 
heal my cuticles and just not have that like, dry skin around my cuticles and I just like to put it around my nails and just rub it in and I also like to put some in my hair so I like to grab like a little drop because a lot a little goes a long way and it comes with like an eyedropper so you just hold on, I have the oil all over me but you squeeze it it's just one of those eyedropper pipette things and um, is that what they're called pipettes I haven't had a science class in a long time so I just grab some and then I just rub it through my hair a little goes a long way so you don't want to use a lot of this at least in your hair you don't want to have that greasy hair look unless you're going for that so yeah I just use that on my hair and just rub it in so I don't have I can tame those flyaways and it's pretty much been working out for me and I also put it on my Anywhere I feel like I need a little bit extra moisture on my skin, I put a little dab on that and I'm good to go. So yeah, and it just sinks into your skin so you don't feel like you have like oily hands and stuff. You might feel a little, like I still feel a little bit oily, but it feels like moisturizing oily, you know what I mean? Not anything uncomfortable that you can't deal with. So yeah, another Dermot E product I've been trying uh, and loving, I have this actually in my shower with me with a little scrubber puff thingy to work with it. It is the Derma E Purifying Gel Cleanser with Marine Algae and Activated Charcoal. I use this in the shower and just, you know, just clean my face and just to kill two birds with one stone. I shower and then I wash my face. Use this with a little scrubber and it just works perfectly for me. It does, it is like a blackish gray color. It has little like microbeads in it so you get the little like scrub uh, exfoliating action with this so Loving it. The next two products I've been loving, they are actually shampoos and a conditioner. I, for one, when I first got this, I got this like a while back and I was too skeptical to try it out and I was like, that's that's not gonna work out for me. It is, you put this in reverse, so you put the conditioner on your hair first and then you wash it out with the shampoo, which is like, I think it's like a co-wash or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but it's like reversed. A way to wash your hair. First time I tried it out, I was like, eh, not too sure about it, but I fell in love immediately after I found out how it left my hair. So soft. Like, I was about to say, I was about to say, so freaking soft. It did leave my hair super, super soft, and I just wish that they would do this like in reverse, like the bottle size. More conditioner, less shampoo, because like, you don't use that much shampoo whenever you like wash your hair with the conditioner first. It's like it lathers so much. Like you just use the tiniest amount of shampoo and it just lathers, lathers up your whole head. So I wish they would reverse the size of the bottles, but it but it but other than that, I'm going to go and get myself another two of these because I love it that much. It's it's amazing. The smell is kind of like I don't know, you might not like it, might might like it. It doesn't really bother me. It kind of smells like um, shaving cream kind of I don't know it has a weird smell to it it's not the best smelling thing in the world but what it does to your hair is freaking amazing okay, so the next things I've been loving are actually well it's only one thing but just a bunch of different styles of it chokers I have been obsessed with chokers I don't know what it is but I just love chokers like every time I like see a choker I have to get it I mean it has to be cute though so I do have a bunch of like chokers that I bought like a long long time ago from eBay and I just have some like this I have two chains to it this one I've I always wear this one this is like the triangle one that you always see me wear on videos probably this one is actually from eBay it was like a dollar or something uh, I bought this other one from I believe Walmart Walmart is a great place to buy your chokers like they are actually like three four dollars maybe two for one of them and that's freaking amazing and I recently bought this one which has like a crisscrossing action to it from Forever 21 and I bought this one as well as two chain one and I'm obsessed chokers for the win um, 90s trend coming back oh yeah I wish I still had my chokers when I was a little girl uh, I used to wear chokers when I was little well, not that little, but you know, younger. Um, so yeah, I wish I still had some of those. I think I sold them in like a garage sale like way, way, way back. Those are pretty much my overall favorites. Let me just tell you guys what I've been loving um, sh like TV show wise. So I don't know if this qualifies, probably not because it came out in April, but I'm going to stick it in here. I recently finished 13 Reasons Why. I finished it in like two days. I was like binge watching it. Like I couldn't like not click to go to the second episode, like the next episode. It was just that... Like, I was hooked. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good show. I really wish they would bring out, like, a new season. Well, if they don't bring out a new season, like, another season, at least bring out, like, a tape 14. Seriously. Like, a episode 14 or something like that. Uh, to, like, clear all the 
questions that everybody has like seriously so many questions but it's a really good show if you haven't seen it yet I do recommend it um, and I have been actually watching some cooking shows I've been watching my PBS cooking shows I really hope they don't take away PBS like seriously PBS I grew up with PBS seriously uh, but yeah I've been watching Patty's uh, Mexican table Love that show. We only want to watch it together whenever we get the chance. So another show I've been watching is Supergirl. I actually caught up on all the seasons on Netflix and now I'm up to date on like the current episode. It's a really good show. Like if you love action, Marvel type of um, Supergirl, Supergirl, like superhero kind of action type of shows, movies, you're going to really love Supergirl. So it, it has Lexi from Grey's Anatomy on the Supergirl show and it actually has the guy, the bad guy from, one of the bad guys from Vampire Diaries. I don't remember his name um, on Vampire Diaries, but he's on in there. If you see, if you know who he is, he's on there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been watching. Oh, and uh, what you call it, This Is Us. I cry watching that show seriously that show is amazing I cry pretty much every episode it's like you get you gotta have your tissues ready when you watch that up the, the any episode of this is us um, but yeah that's a really good a really good show I really recommend this is us but yeah that's pretty much what I've been watching on TV so the next things I have been loving is my music favorites so I've been just pretty much listening to whatever's on the radio um, I do have a Spotify playlist so a song I have been loving is called down by Marion Hill okay so if you've heard before you know that beat that goes down like they say it was in an Apple commercial I haven't seen that Apple commercial with this song in it but yeah, when that the beat goes down, the beat goes down. So, yeah, it sounds like this if you haven't heard it before. I don't know where you've been, but it sounds like this. So, yeah, it sounds like that. Um, I just love when the beat goes down. That's my kind of jam right there. Another song I've been loving, sorry, my phone actually died, so I just took out my iPad. I got an iPad, guys. I got an iPad Pro. Yeah, I'm still playing around with it, but so far I'm loving it. This should be my favorites if I do one next month. But for now, it's in my favorites right now. But yeah, the next song I've been loving is actually called from Becky G called Sola. <laughs> I should go listen to it. The song I've been loving is actually from Ed Sheeran's new album. I actually love a couple songs from there, but this one's like one of my favorites because he talks Spanish in here, even though, you know, well, he talks Spanish in here. So it's called Barcelona and it sounds like this. I want you, baby, solamente. You and I are flying on the never plane tonight. So it's just like a cutesy kind of, I don't know, I find it like kind of cutesy, but I like it. Good. So the last song I have been loving is called Wild Love by Ellie King. So I think, I believe I, the first time I heard the song was actually in a commercial on Snapchat. Like one of those random commercials you get while flipping through Snapchats. Um, it was with Kylie, with Kendall and with uh, with uh, Ellie King. And then she was like lip syncing to her song or something like that. But that's the first time I heard it. And if you haven't heard it before, it sounds like this. And I love it. It's like my favorite song ever. There's a So yeah, it sounds like that. If you haven't heard it before, go give it a listen. And that's pretty much all of my favorites. Uh, so yeah, follow me on Snapchat if you haven't already. And hit the subscribe button. Leave a lovely comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.